Welcome. I'm your host, Dr. Robert J. Gilbert. Our first great secret of sacred geometry reveals that every human being can develop the ability to perceive, create, and send these divine packed thought forms of sacred geometry. The law of attraction, that you will attract to yourself what you create in your consciousness, is an example of modern teachings on the power of the human mind to create. Science of mind and related mental healing methods are examples of the power of the human mind to heal and to create the fundamental conditions of both illness and health, depending on how skillfully we use our minds. Many healers have found that when they combine the clear focused creation of a thought form holding the desired state of health with whatever method of healing they are applying, that the results improve, sometimes miraculously. This method is very powerful when the light of our consciousness, our mind power, is focused and coherent like a laser light. It is also strengthened when beneficial spiritual beings and energies are lovingly asked to help with the healing. This ability to perceive or create thought forms at the higher macrocosmic level is not based on thinking in words. It is a higher order thinking in mental images, in sounds, in internal vibrational states. It is a thinking that lives and plays in the vibrational essence behind physical things. The sacred geometric structures of the human energy body are keys to access our latent spiritual powers. The difference between an ordinary person and a spiritual adept is that the latter has an energy field which is highly activated and sacred geometrically structured. This makes available to them higher states of consciousness and other powers, which appear magical to ordinary people who are stuck in dense, toxic energy fields. For this reason, hidden traditions of initiation around the world train their students to understand where the key spiritual centers are in their energy field and how to activate them. This knowledge of the sacred geometry structures of the human energy system opens up a hidden world which controls health and illness, our mind and emotions, and our latent spiritual potential. We can now experience a simple practice to create and absorb a sphere of bioenergy. Remember the fundamental ethical rule of safety when learning new energetic methods, which is to first practice them on yourself until you master them before using them on others and to only use them on others with their explicit permission. We will begin with the energy field awareness practice, which is simply to become quiet inside and tune into the feeling of energy in and around your body, as well as observing whatever thoughts and emotions are in your consciousness at this moment. You don't need to change or manipulate in any way what is in your energy field or your mind during the energy field awareness practice. Simply observe and become aware of whatever is present. This gives you a baseline to then observe changes in your energy or consciousness from any energetic or spiritual practice that you do. So please do the energy field awareness practice for a moment. Now we can begin the classical energy sphere creation practice. Our hands are used to project life energy called prana, chi, ether, etc. in different traditions all over the world. The most powerful energy emission in the hands is the center of the palm, which is acupuncture point pericardium 8 in Chinese medicine. Energy emissions may also come from the fingers. However, the center of the palm is the most powerful hand energy center. Remember the principle that energy follows attention. Wherever you put your attention, your energy goes there. Simply by putting attention on the palms of the hands, you start to activate the energy emissions there. So please take a few deep breaths, deep into your belly, relax, and become quiet inside. Place your attention on the center of your palms, feeling the natural vibration there. 
Now to increase the sensation of the vibration you feel there, rub the palms of your hands briskly together and then stop and feel the vibration at the palms and between the two hands. Move your palms closer and further from each other, feeling the compression of the energy between them when you move them closer together. Then start to play with that energy, moving your hands in spherical rotations, forming the energy between the palms into a sphere held between the hands. Use your attention and mind power to move your awareness and energy into the center of the sphere held between your hands. This is the zero point centering practice you learned in episode two of this series. This activates the divine plane, the unified field power. Then from the center of the sphere, use your mind power to radiate the energy back to the boundary of the sphere, which is the radiance practice. Lead the energy of the sphere to cycle sequentially through the zero point centering and radiance phases to gently implode into its own center and explode back out to the boundary of the sphere in a regular rhythm, creating a steady pulsation of the sphere as if it was a beating heart. Set up the pulsation of the sphere to match the rhythm of the beating of your own heart in your chest. Feel the change in the vibration of the sphere in your hands when you set it to pulse with the beating of your own heart. Imprint now into the sphere with your mind power a gentle light blue pastel color, like the color of the clear sky, which can help calm and soothe stress and agitation. The vibrational power of blue also specifically helps to stabilize and hold the sphere together and to preserve thought forms we project into the sphere. Feel the change in the vibration of the sphere in your hands when you imprint the light sky blue color into it. Generate then in your mind a thought form of dynamic vitality and health, of disintegrating any toxic invasions or accumulations in your body. See in your mind's eye clear images of yourself bursting with this vital energy and health, with any toxicity or issues dissolving away to nothing. Accompany these images of health with generating the feeling of health and happiness in your body and energy field. Be aware that these images and feelings are creating a coherent thought form inside your head. Then you're projecting this thought form from inside your head, then from the area between your eyebrows into the sphere held between your hands. Feel the change in the vibration of the blue sphere held between your hands when you add this thought form of health and vitality into the blue sphere. Then you can use your hands to take the blue sphere and push it into your own solar plexus. Absorb the sphere then into your solar plexus, laying your hands on top of the solar plexus as the sphere is absorbed. Close your eyes and relax, feeling the shift in your body and energy field when the blue sphere releases its beneficial contents into your solar plexus. Then you can relax and return your hands to your lap and then use the energy field awareness practice once again to quietly tune into the shift of energy in and around your body from having created and absorbed this sphere of energy. How does your energy feel different than it did before the start of the practice? Observe also any shifts in your mental thoughts and emotional feelings from having absorbed the sphere. This process of creating the energy sphere can also be used for manifestation purposes by placing specific thought forms within the sphere of what you choose to manifest and then placing the visualized sphere within the energetic environment where this situation can materialize. This practice can be repeated and reinforced daily to keep the sphere active and working.